Okay, question 5. So we have a sector AOB of a circle, centre O, and a radius R centimetres. Uh, we are told the angle AOB is theta radians. The sector has an area of 9 centimetres squared and perimeter of 15 centimetres. Part A wants us to show that R satisfies the equation 2R squared minus 15R add 18 is equal to 0. So we are given two bits of information here, the area and the perimeter. That's going to allow us to form two equations. So, area of a sector is one half r squared theta. Now the other formula that we're going to need is arc length. Arc length is uh, the radius times the angle, so r theta. Okay, so we know the area of the sector is 9 centimetres squared. So we know 1 half r squared theta is equal to 9. Now we also know the perimeter. Now the arc length is r theta. So the perimeter of the whole thing is two lots of the radius and r theta. So the what we can say from that is that two r add r theta is equal to 15. Now, these equations are simultaneous. The equation that we want to end up with is purely in terms of r. So what we want to do now is get an expression for r, um, sorry, an expression for theta in terms of r. So, Probably the easiest way to do this would be to use the equation on the left. So if we multiply by 2 we get r squared theta is equal to 18 and then theta is 18 over r squared. So what we're going to do now is substitute that expression for theta into the equation of the perimeter. So if we take this over here now, theta is 18 over r squared, so we got 2r add r lots of 18 over r squared is equal to 15. Okay, so with this middle term, there's a common factor of r, so this is going to become 2r add 18 over r is equal to 15. Now if we multiply through by r, we're going to get 2r squared add 18 
is equal to 15R. And then finally, subtract 15R. We get 2R squared minus 15R at 18 is equal to 0 as we want it to. Okay, and then part B, which is another four marker, wants us to find the value of theta and explain why it is the only possible value. So, to do that, we're going to need to solve our quadratic equation for R. Remember, back here, we found that theta was equal to 18 over r squared. So if we find our value or values of r, we can then find what theta is. So we want to factorize this guy, or at least try. We might not be able to. So given that we got a 2r squared, we are going to need a 2r and then the other bracket is going to have an R. Now, uh, we got a positive 18 at the end, and uh, minus 15 in the middle. That tells us both numbers are negative. Okay, so can this be done? What about if we put a minus 6 in there? Then that's going to give us minus 12 R. Then we're going to need a minus 3 in there. So that works. So that's going to give us two possible values for R. So R is 6. Or R is, remember you set whatever is inside the bracket, equal to 0. And then solve for the variable. So here, 2r minus 3 is equal to 0, 2r is equal to 3, r is equal to 3 over 2. So at this point, we have two possible values for r. So now let's investigate what theta is for each of these values. So, when r is equal to 6, again now, we're using this formula, theta is equal to 18 over r squared. We get theta is equal to 18 over 36 which is equal to one half. Now there's absolutely no problem with that value of theta. Theta can quite happily be one half. Now when theta, no sorry, when r is equal to three halves, Theta is equal to 18 over 3 halves squared, which is the same as 18 times 4 over uh, 9. Uh, which is going to be 72 over 9, which is 8. Now we do have a problem there. Remember, theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi. Now, 8 is greater than 2 pi. 
So theta cannot equal eight. So theta is only equal to one half. Cool.